to tell them that I love you a lot and the world discovers as my book ends how to make two lovers of friends hey everybody uh, thanks for tuning in I'm gonna work just a little bit on the song I could write a book by Rogers and Hart um, also, real quickly, I just want to thank all the uh, people that were so kind to leave me some uh, beautiful comments about uh, my father, and I really appreciate that, and it's helping me get back to work. So the song we're working on today, I Could Write a Book, Rogers and Hart, it's in the first real book, and you know it's pretty easy to find that chart, um, but I will post a chart on what I think is a better reharmonization of this song than what's what's in the uh, real book. And I say it's a reharmonization because if you go back to the original, and I kind of have the original here, I have this book, the Rogers and Hart song book, and I play with this bass player who tends to play things correctly. In other words, he worked with, you know, older musicians, people uh, here in town like uh, Margaret Perrin and um, Mary Sue Taylor, that, you know, played these songs, the, you know, the way they were written. When you take a look at, like, the reharmonization that's in the real book, it's kind of different, you know? Instead of learning them from the real book, they may have learned them either just by listening to them or maybe from a book like this, the Rogers and Hart song book, which, you know, this thing probably came out not too long after, after the uh, song was written. I see there's an inscription here dated... 1951. So, changes in the real book. And I'm going to, uh, I mean, you can find the original chart here pretty easily on the internet. Just, you know, put in, I could write a book, chart, and this exact chart that's in the real book will probably come up. Uh, but I'm going to post one down there in the description that, that gives the uh, chords a little bit more uh, like they are in this older book. And so let's go over it quickly. C major seventh, you know, in the original book, it kind of just sits on C major, goes back and forth between the tonic and the dominant. That would be the one chord, C major, and the five chord, G7. Um, and of course, it makes perfect sense to uh, reharmonize it as a one, six, two, five. All right, it would be C major, A minor, D minor. G7 with a 13 because of the melody note, and back to C major. And then, the real book doesn't say this, but you could do that same progression again. A minor, D minor 7, G13. And here's where it uh, gets interesting. Now, the way uh, Dell plays it, he's my bass player, that, okay? So this is on the second line. Instead of just G7 there, we go to F minor 7, flat 5, and then, you know, there could, the F here could be a lot of things. It could be a diminished chord. Um, what else could it be? An F minor 6 chord. Um, that works pretty well. Let's uh, take a look. Uh, yeah, in the... Uh, in the original, it's just going back to G7, like it says here. And that's perfectly fine. Now, um, when you're coming down like this, say from a three chord, a typical way to do this is use a diminished chord, like that. Uh, the original and the real book have it this way. A flat seventh, and I think that's a really good change. You know, there's lots of there's a couple different ways to you know handle a change like that. You can just go chromatically like this, or you can use a diminished chord as that middle chord, or like this book says, you can use the A flat seventh, and it's not in root position, but it sounds cool. Kind of like that. Okay. 
Uh, so I could write a preface, and here's where I think the, the weakest change is: is this A minor, D, G, because the original has this chord. All right, it's A minor, but it's got the uh, C in the bass, and that's how Dell always plays it. So um, you know, it's interesting that it that his bass line follows the original so closely. So a, a C, and then like an F sharp diminished, but still a C in the bass, and then a G with B in the bass. And then, you know, it goes back up to C real quickly. We could do a C seventh. Sorry. And then here, um, it says G again, but you know, I can make it like B minor seventh, or you know, think of it as a G if you want to. And it's going to do that same little descending thing that we did up here. So, all right, it's an E flat seventh. And that's not in the real book. And you know, uh, other songs that do that, um, George on My Mind, um, Beyond the Sea, has a, a changes similar to that. So if you want to explore those kind of changes, check out those songs as well. Um, let's take it from the top. second ending they've got a minor I never hear anyone do it that way let's go right to uh, yeah and in the original <laughs> it doesn't go to a minor there it has a, uh, a C with an E in the bass and then that same a flat chord you know sometimes I think I just prefer the diminished chord there G7 right to G minor 7. See, that temporal, temporarily takes us to F major. The song's in the key of C, but that's up, you know, it takes us to F major first. And if you look at the end of a lot of Bach compositions, uh, uh, Johann Sebastian Bach will, very close to the end of the song, um, go to a new key, which is up a fourth from the original, and then, you know, kind of turn it into a minor get back to our one chord that way. So, and the world, let's see, what is it? And the world discovers as my book ends how to make two lovers of friends. And right there at the end, a pedal tone is very nice and very usable. For some more detail on maybe how to reharmonize the song, uh, Harry Connick uh, did a nice job with this, and I, I believe his chords are similar, but uh, go check it out.
Uh, that's just an example of maybe a bass line that you could uh, use in this song uh, following those new changes. I've got a busy week ahead of me. Uh, don't think I'll be putting out another video for another week or so, but uh, hang with me, folks, and uh, I'll be back with my usual flood of videos real soon.